I know you're gonna dig this. All right, so I've landed in Toronto. No, I've landed in Vancouver. I was in Toronto. I'm gonna show you a video I took yesterday in Toronto, getting ready to leave. Then this morning in Toronto, now I'm here in Vancouver. So watch this, and we're gonna come back here and see me again. So, whoa, that's better. Part of the routine of me getting uh, ready to go on a road trip, especially a big one like this, well, I'm flying, so it's not necessarily a road trip. I'm flying to Seattle in about 12 hours. Uh, last minute touch about the hair is coming up. Then I got a bunch of errands to run. Then I gotta say goodbye to Shady and I gotta drop him off downtown to my friends. And it is the worst part of leaving, is leaving that little dog behind every time. I'm not really buying anything as I'm shopping, but I'm just wondering why in Toronto, they're selling cool pants here that are pretty cheap but with Boston Bruins colors. We're about to play Boston in the playoffs. That annoys me. I love Boston City. I hate the hockey team. Hi, how are you? This shirt, no thank you. The look, no eyes. That explains why he chose this shirt. Big snowstorm last night in Toronto. I'm very happy about that because I'm not gonna be here. So, I hope it snows all month. I really kinda do. Don't bother me, none. Got a little touch above the hair. Fix it up on the sides. Had to get some chargers, power cables, a few other things. Last minute stuff. I'm running out of breath. Uh, and of course, I'm dealing with parking. I don't know where my car is. I just don't. I do. There it is. The ever elusive Reebok size large crew neck t-shirts. These are impossible to find. And mine are all faded and gross. But I just found some. Sorry, my name is Valerie. I have to go to cash. I'll be right back. Shady, are you gonna miss daddy? It's not really an answer. Shady, look ahead, look forward. That's backwards. Look forward, there you go. Say hello. Okay. Huh, Ewok. Watch this, watch how he reacts to this noise. <gasps> this is it, we're saying goodbye. I love you so much. This is the month, this is gonna be a long time. Hey, would you chill out for a second? Let me say goodbye to you, like a proper person. Shady, look at me. I wanna tell you something. Hey, sit. Ever since I created you and gave birth to you, you've been the greatest, <laughs> you've been the greatest gift from the heavens. Okay, let's go. He's so excited to see the other dogs that he stays with. All right, say goodbye, Shady. Yo, dude, dude, Shady, this way. Hello, say goodbye. Flip your ear over. Elaine Bennis on Seinfeld says, flip your ears over. Oh. Hey. This is Jensen. Where's Stella? <laughs> Stella. What up, girl? Stella, come, come over here. Oh. And Shady. Shady's already made himself at home. There. And there's a cat, too. <laughs> that, without a doubt, is the hardest part, is leaving Shady. Even if I'm like, I'm excited about filming videos, excited about seeing new cities and new places, breaks my heart leaving him every time. But he will go crazy on a road trip in a car. It's hard getting him 20 minutes across town. But uh, he kind of snubbed me at the end there too. He was mad, he wasn't looking at me. And then he gave me a kiss. And we had a big hug and a talk, a little talk quietly. And we FaceTime, so. He licks the phone and sniffs the phone when we FaceTime, so that's nice. Happened this 
Thank you for taking me to the airport, Angeliki. You're welcome, baby. It's my old friend, Angeliki. Getting on the plane now. I have a layover in Vancouver. Biggest mistake I've made. No offense to Vancouver, but I have a four hour layover. Should not have done that. Should have flown direct, but I wanted to save some money. This is Toronto airport traffic. This is nothing compared to LA. LAX is crazy. Constant honking. You might hear the occasional honk or beep here. Very rare. Canadians, we don't honk. We do the polite honk, the polite tap. Please, could you get over? Sorry, I really, I feel so bad I honked. I'm so, I, I, it's my bad. I should have done that. I shouldn't have honked. See, no honking. Every other airport, especially LAX, here honking. No honking. No honky from this honky. Blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's worst roller coaster. Hands up, baby, hands up. This sucks, I'm waiting for the drop, yo. Nice baby blue blazer with your black jeans. Yeah, the day's coming around now. So, we'll see now. so, I've got a long layover. I don't know why I did this. I should have just flown direct. But the direct flights were like later in the day. I like to get there early in the day. So I'll still, because of the time difference, I'll still get there in the afternoon. If I had taken a direct flight, I wouldn't have gotten there until at nighttime. Those are the only times they had the flights. So, Layover. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be in Seattle. This is gonna be a long one. I think this gentleman needs a little bit more popcorn. I just had my last Tim Hortons coffee for a while. Tim Hortons is the big coffee, donuts, muffins, all that sort of stuff, but coffee is his main thing in Canada. See, there's a sign for Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons used to play defense for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I just had my last Tim Hortons coffee for a while. This plane has propellers. What? Insérez les deux extrémités l'une dans l'autre et tirez la sangle pour l'ajuster autour de vos hanches. Pour la détacher, soulevez la partie supérieure de la boucle. There are four emergency exits on board. La cabine et deux issues à l'arrière de la cabine. Veuillez repérer les issues les plus près de vous en gardant à l'esprit qu'elles peuvent se trouver derrière vous. This aircraft is... Uh, quiet compared to most, but cool artwork. Well, I made it to Seattle. That was the longest layover, longest flight trip in an, uh, in an aircraft and shuttle buses that I've ever taken in my entire life. Felt like days. But I wanted to come here and show you something really cool. It's the first place I came to. Well, actually, I went to my hotel, checked in, and I had a little nap. So I look a little tired. My hair's a little flat. That's about it, though. But I want to show you something really cool. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. This is the Fremont Troll. It's a troll under a bridge. Look at him. He's holding a Volkswagen Beetle with a California license plate. I read about it, but I can't really tell anymore. But yeah, look at this guy. See what it says. And now, actually, I can tell you, I know what it says. I think it was designed around 1990, and it was for a, because um, it was used as like people coming here and dealing drugs and hanging out. So they wanted a more positive thing in the community, so they put a troll under the bridge. 
That's positive and troll. Four people designed this. Whoa, it goes all the way up underneath the bridge, right up this way, look. And, you climb, and you're encouraged to climb on it and hang out and just whatever. So I guess I'll go and climb on it. Did I mention how long that flight was? Like, it was long. I felt like it would never end. I went up to the top of the troll, though. Oof. I feel like a changed man. There's a girl posing up there, but I see you there. And this troll, right over there, they filmed 10 things I hate about you. Right there. Remember that movie? Julia Stiles and uh, Heath Ledger, Joseph Gordon Levitt. I believe the scene with Joseph Gordon Levitt was filmed here. It's really hard to park around here. It's the first thing I've noticed about Seattle. Parking, a lot of dead ends, <clears throat> but people drive okay. So, so far, Seattle, thumbs up. Anyway, so that's it from the Fremont Troll from Seattle. I've got so many videos coming from Seattle, so many. One of my favorite musicians of all time is from here, so a lot of videos about him. A lot of videos about music, movies, everything. History of Seattle. You'll see what's coming. And I'm going to do a live stream on my YouTube channel either tomorrow night or Wednesday night or Thursday night. Watch my community tab. That's where I post pictures. You can see there I'll, I'll right beside it which day it's going to be. I wish I knew exactly when, but it's a matter of getting back to the room and doing it. Because I can't really do it on the street. Because data, Wi-Fi, Canadian, data. So yeah, God, I feel like a changed man a little bit, just a little bit after that trip. Time to decompress. Peace out. Free on troll. Ah, I feel much better after a shower and a shave. The neighbors here let me go in and just use a shower. People in Seattle are so friendly. Now I'm heading to the Target where everybody's friendly, or as we call it in Canada, Target, even though we don't have any Targets in Canada anymore. Watch my video about that. It's way far back on my channel. All right. Like I said, peace out. Hope you're having a good day. I love you all. You know that. It was like a breakdance move I just did. I need a bit of a sleep. A little bit of a sleep. I'm amazed by how many people in the neighborhood come by and look at it. Like, it looks like it's not just, it's not just a tourist thing. Like, people come by and just stand and look at it. I guess I would too if there was a giant troll in my neighborhood. Actually, there is a giant troll in my neighborhood. Well, I'm not going to get into that. There's like people parking in front of his house, so I do it sometimes just to annoy him. <laughs> you know, you know, you know who you are. Okay.